SMD Law is the official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Check them out on the interwebs at smdalaw.com or at 866-529-3537. No matter where you are in the state of Michigan, Upper Peninsula, Lower Peninsula, it doesn't matter. They have an office near you. So whether you need to send a letter to an annoying neighbor or you're a criminal and you need defense, maybe you just have problems with elder law. Check them out, smdalaw.com today. The official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Call them first. Then you act. That's what I said last night. Want to know in the Big Ten. Excited about that. Um, that was our goal going into this game. Knew it would be a tough game versus Iowa. There's traditionally not been a lot of scoring in that football game, so that sort of held true. Um, it would come down to the end. Um, but we played hard with a great, great amount of effort. Won the turnover battle, so that's big. Ended up plus two in that. I thought Jake Hartberger had an outstanding job punting. Probably the key to the game was um, his four punts down inside the um, – I think it was four down inside the, the 10, maybe another one inside the 20. Uh, so uh, we won the field position in that area and, and were able to get the ball back plus 53 different times, scoring on two of those. 18 has a big day, day Felton Davis. 14 makes some plays. Defense played outstanding. I think Joe Bocci had an outstanding game. Uh, some other individuals as well. Big big tackle by just – Scott on uh, the turnover and um, say about uh, players kind of playing it week to week and game to game. Uh, how critical was that this past week, just with the rivalry coming next week, just kind of having them focused and dialed in on the one week? Yeah, we're just going to focus on one week at a time. We'll, we'll talk about this week on Tuesday, but uh, I think our players did a really good job of that this week. And um, I think that. We really need to continue to focus on the moment, really, and, and the present. I think young people tend to do that more often than, than focusing on the past or the future anyway. So we'll just stay in the moment and keep working. Looking back at the tape with the run game, could you identify some, some areas uh, where you maybe felt like things could have improved a little bit more with it? And and I guess on, on top of that, I, I guess when you saw Kevin Jarvis's play back, uh, what was your thought on that? Well, first of all, I thought Kevin Jarvis played very well for a true freshman in there, and he went the whole way. Uh, so that was extremely impressive, and he won, won a lot of his um, his responsibilities. I thought he carried those out and knew what to do and, and did it well. Um, offensive line play, running the football, is predicated on everybody doing their job, from the structure of what was presented, every single person up front, all five offensive linemen, including the tight end or tight ends, and running back, and then the, um, you know, the fullback as well. But then the running back's vision and uh, wide receivers blocking and everything like that. And really, for, to make it happen, everything's got to be perfect. Um, there's some vision issues at times. There's some, you know, whether it's a missed block or getting defeated at the point of attack sometimes. Uh, so it's all it's sort of all inclusive. I will say this: I was very good. They do what they do. I said that coming into the game. If you look at look at our last time we met. Is very very similar to this time. Um, you know, we scored 17 this time, scored 16 the last time, but we played very well defensively in both times and to win the football game. And um, the bottom line is, uh, as much as anything, it was the punting in the game. I feel um, the inability to stop, the ability to stop the run, and then the turnovers. We've talked obviously a lot about turnovers recently, and you said last week, you know, they they come in bunches. It's just a matter of kind of getting it going. Was it kind of fitting the way the the first fumble came on Saturday, where you know their quarterback? It's kind of goofy because it slipped out of his hand, but but you had Cooper in there with the pressure, I believe, and then, and then Joe being opportunistic and, and diving for the ball. Is that kind of what you can put on film and show your guys again, like this is what it takes to to, to create these things? Uh, yes, and you know there were a couple other times the ball came out where we had chances to get it so um and they were stripped out a couple times so i thought it was a good you know obviously a good situation for us um we keep talking about it it's not like it's not being coached it's coached everywhere in america um so sometimes they just come sometimes they don't but we need to protect the football and, and keep raking it on the other end and um and, you know tips and things like that so interceptions but we're just going to keep working and keep a positive attitude towards all of it you mentioned David Dow last night as a guy that played well. I'm just wondering if you can expand a little bit on, on what you liked about him and, and what made you guys go with him as, a, as that starting safety spot yesterday. Well, I think he had a great week of practice leading into the into the um, the game itself. 
um, tackled very well in, t in practice and, and, you know, responded. And so uh, he got the starting starting nod. We did play uh, uh, Trey Person a little bit in that position, but he played the majority. David played the majority of the game, and I thought he was he was very solid. Um, I thought he showed up. Um, he played with uh, consistency and confidence. Um, Demetrius Cooper made some plays. Looks like he's starting to make some more noise. Can you talk about his development and what he started to do better, maybe compared to last year and where do you see his level of play right now? What an impact on that game yesterday? Well, this was the first first game he started this year. Um, I thought he played very solid. He did a nice job on pass rush. Um, he was obviously part of the defensive line and stopped the run yesterday, and he applied pressure, got to knock the ball off the, off the quarterback as well. So um, I think there's still areas of improvement that all of us can make, but I think he responded and played pretty – Pretty well and played very athletically and uh, it's quick twitch. First got a lot more snaps at defensive end too. What what did you see that allowed him to, to maybe jump into the rotation a little deeper? Again, good week of practice and uh, you know the, the um, was a uh, what's the word I want to use here? There was a we were going to play him. There was a commitment to play to play Robert this week. Got we probably go three deep. Defensive end, you know, and we sort of done it by committee. So that's tough to get everybody reps at times. But uh, I think we did play six six defensive ends yesterday. And I think all of them had their moments, uh, their positive moments. So obviously, if you play as well as we did up, up front, you know, they're all part, probably playing pretty well. And I thought Robert did a nice job as well. Penetrated, held the point of attack. Um, he just defensive backfield, Michigan man in zone, probably keeping the opponent off balance a little bit. In the meantime, you've got young players in the secondary, and it seems like everybody's been on the same page pretty well. Would you agree with that? And is that group uh, kind of on schedule for you right now? Uh, yes, I would agree with with, with, with your assumption. You know, we are doing quite a few, few different things, and then also we're playing a lot of different players. So we're probably playing eight eight or nine players. If you look across the, the, the four-game stretch, we probably have nine players that are played for us, maybe even ten. So... We're just going to play the guys who are making plays and uh, who have great weeks of practice and get themselves ready to go. We get everybody the reps, and Coach Bardet, is, uh, as usual, has done a great job with those guys. So right now we're winning a majority of third-down conversions. have been very good, so we need to continue to do that and pressure the quarterback. But all this stuff is all-inclusive, much like I said offensively. You know, long yardage situations, you know, usually good things can happen. and uh, But it's all-inclusive. You have great pass rush and – linebackers underneath and all that type of thing.